This is Tales of Swordfall. Episode 13, Feel the Love. But that's not really the end of our story, because we still have Taz, outside of her own body, being laughed at from a forest. You know, menacing laughter isn't going to get you anywhere. We speak like civilized beings, or we do not speak at all. And so, Taz, as you're looking at your own body, and Flea, you can see this too. Actually, flee from your angle. You foresee a pleasant smile on Taz's face. Then it kind of goes into a crazy smile. And Taz turns around to absolutely nothing. Taz, you see your own body start moving by itself, and it has a really creepy smile on it. Excuse me? That's my body. It's the only way I can talk to you. Fine, then talk quickly. Oh, Flea. Flea, you can hear this, by the way. Ah, shit. Yeah, Taz is using Tangle's voice. It's weird. Hey, Tangle, at least I can look at you now. At least I'm something to look at. I cannot believe you just said that. Anyways, what you doing? Oh, I'm possessing your friend's body so I can talk to her. She's Classic. Right. Oh, yes. Thank you. Flea, how are you okay with this? Can I hear Taz, too? Yeah, you can hear Taz. Oh, I did not hear Taz. Okay. Yeah, well, he's, he's allowing you to hear Taz now, so... Okay, and I'll say, uh, any chance you'll give it back and take Bright instead, maybe? I haven't thought about that one. I'm maybe pretty strong. later. Oh, well, yes, you are very strong. Thank you. If you want someone uh, strong, you came to the wrong person. What are you trying to do with her body? Oh, I was gonna talk to her, but she seems stubborn. Uh, you could talk to me instead. Well, I can talk to both of you this way. Who are you, and what do you want? They call me Tangle. Or Mr. Tangle, if you want to be very polite. I've heard that name before. You've probably heard it throughout your whole life. I never know, or never knew what it actually meant. So you've given me your name. That doesn't tell me who you That's all you need to know. I am Mr. Tangle. And? Somehow, I have a feeling that's not the whole story. You met the Rayanne girl recently. What about her? She's dangerous, as you know. You want me to take her down? Please. Not yet. What? I owe him some favors. You uh... He owes me a, a lot of things. I mean, he saved my life, like, I don't know how many times. It's about five now. I'm glad somebody's counting. Then you have my gratitude for helping my friend. But you still haven't told me what you want. You should do me a favor and find all the puzzle pieces for me before she does. That's all you have Why to do. Why would I do that? If I told you everything, then it wouldn't be so fun. What Please. would you do with Tal Sadar's puzzle if you had it? Well... I can't wish for anything, but you can. And 
you would just let us wish for whatever we wanted. You wouldn't interfere. Somehow I don't buy that. You're very smart. And I like that. I like people who are very smart. I also like people like Flea, who can get things done. Um, correct her. By the time you're done with the goddess and you're down the stairs, Taz is speaking in a really creepy voice. Uh, uh, Taz, are you feeling okay? Did you swallow a bug? Uh, you don't usually, uh, how do I put this nicely? You don't usually sound so menacing. I'm feeling particularly well right now. That's not me, Krakata! What the? Uh, She's uh, fine. She just had a little frog in her throat. Strange I things. I wouldn't say uh, being kicked out of my body counts as fine. Oh, you too? So now you know how I feel. Finally, someone else understands what it's like to have Akazu taking over your body when you need it. This is getting overly complicated. I didn't know he was here. You still haven't answered my question. Find the puzzle pieces before that girl does. Do not what let her- What do you her... want with them? I want somebody to have a wish. And what uh, would you have them wish for? A wish of their desires. And he just smiles pleasantly. He knows he's playing a game with you. But what does that get you? Fun. Fun. Is he lying like to fun. me? Um, you can do an insight with advantage because you can read your own face. Sixteen? So what's your tell when you're lying? When I lie, I tend to tilt my head just a little bit to the left. And he doesn't know that, and your body is reacting like you are lying. I know when someone is lying to me, especially when they use my own face to do it. He looks a little shocked. You just suddenly cut him off guard. You suddenly realize how goofy you look when you're shocked now. <laughs> and <laughs> and um, he tries to compose himself. You shouldn't scam a scammer. Tell me the truth. The particular person that I want to wish can fundamentally change everything for everybody who was trapped or killed by the culling. The culling? Does that ring a bell? Do I know what that is? Uh, everyone can do religion checks. Sixteen. Sixteen's good. Five's bad. Fifteen's good. Uh, Krakatur is still reeling from his religious experience. So, you've heard this called many different things. Um, though, it's usually called nicer things like um, the goddesses rise. Or, um, the, yeah, let's just call it the Goddesses Arise. And it's at a time period before man ever existed where the old gods were either killed or banished. And, um, you know some stories of the, uh, matron matron goddesses going through all of reality and getting rid of the gods who were um, just either super good or super bad. Any Anything that was too extreme, they got rid of, one way or another. Are you an old god, Mr. Tangle? You're a smart one. Tangle, you're a god and you never told me? I told you at least once. Yeah, I'm not the best listener, alright. That's fair. So, 
You want to reset the world back in time before the goddesses rise. For what? Just to be free again? As much fun it is to be an attractive female, I like having a body every once in a while of my own. Of my so own. So that's how they got rid of you. <laughs> you can't quite get rid of somebody who's so ingrained into reality. So, you've spent your time floating around in corporeal nobody, just to get everyone to collect the puzzle of Tel Zadar, so you can change the fabric of reality itself. Why do you need us to do it? Because you can actually hold things. I can't keep this up very longer. And you can tell, like, your body's starting to sweat a little. It almost looks like you have a fever. I didn't mean why do you need people with a body, I meant why us? You're smart. He's strong. Lee's loyal. Tabby's... Tabby. Fair enough. But what do you have against Brianne? Why are you fixated on her? She walked away. Walked away? Tango wanted me to find her. Why? I don't she's, know. Well, she's dangerous. Yes, I gathered that, but why is she dangerous to you? Why do you care? You've met her mother. You've seen her. Did you feel anything when you were looking at that woman? Her mother? No. She was just a woman, a competent woman, a, a gifted magician, but just a woman. She blew up a house. She did blow up a house. To be fair, we helped her blow up the house. That's true. Mostly me. Good job, Flea. That was fun to watch. And, uh... Your body kind of starts panting for a moment, and you can feel a tug back toward your body. And he's about to say something else, and you get slingshotted back into your own body. And it's like you're wearing a sock that you've already worn before. Um, so, that was informative. Uh, yeah, welcome to the club. Uh, what in the hell has happened down here? Well, I that was... That creature has a particular and irritating gift for circling answers. Oh, y yours too, huh? Not mine. I think we need to pay a visit to Ezra. Uh, I think we should get the hell out of here. <laughs> I I grow quite weary of this place. I gotta Me go too. shoot some stuff. Oh, oh yes, your little friend. Oh no, we've left her waiting. Aren't we terrible? She'll be oh. fine. She likes to swim. And actually, you see at the uh, entrance, well. The entrance to the uh, world market, a figure just watching. And uh, she's just coming up. It's Lily Pad. Is, is everything okay? I'll head butter. <laughs> she head, 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 she head butts back. I say, yeah, we're fine. We were just uh, praying. There are. There's much to pray to here. Sometimes I hear the sweet songs that the goddesses sing. They say if you listen very carefully and that they want to sing to you, they will. Who do you worship? Anybody in particular? I like Besna. 
Vesna is a beautiful one. I agree. Anyways, you want to go to the beach? Yes. Let's go to the beach. Enjoy the stars. Kill some birds. I do like killing birds. I like eating the birds. I think we'd make a good team. I think we do too. Um, you definitely see some googly eyes from Lilypad to flee. Uh, do you guys want to come, or do you want to stay here? Uh, I'll, I, I, I'd like to see this new bow in action. Yes, I'd like to see what it does. Do you mind, Lilypad? Oh, they're, they're your friends and your war mates, of course. They need to know what this does. All right, lead on, then. And um, she leads on. Uh, you guys leave. You travel south. Um, you know, it, she shows her badge to, like, the guards, and the guards are like, oh, whatever. And uh, you make it down to the Dot District. And there's, like, on the other side, um, there's a nice beach. There are nightbirds out that are um, pecking at little bugs and stuff that are hanging around the uh, fjord. Um, it's a low tide, so there's actually, like, a lot more stuff to peck at. And, uh, you know, there's little, like, well, maybe not little, but, like, good-sized crabs that are, like, running around, scuttling underneath the, uh, is this even a moonlight night? I want to say a moonlit night, but I'm probably wrong about that. Let's see. Oh, there's some moons out. Yeah. There's, like, a half moon, so, you know, there's some crabs scuttling about, there's... Uh, little flies that light, light up every once in a while. Uh, definitely some night birds. Um, you even see some little turtles out and about as the birds try to swoop down and try to get them. It's it's a very nice night. It is a lovely evening. So Taz, uh, how was your uh, out of body experience? Not particularly pleasant. Yes, I go through that on a regular basis, so I understand how you feel. And I know it's unpleasant. Perhaps maybe once we are done with our escapade, perhaps I can make us a nice bowl of soup or something, and we can try and forget some of what we went through today. Not opposed to that. I have new sympathy for your dealings with the kazoo. If all creatures and spirits are as infuriating as that one. I don't envy your position. Speaking of Kazu, um, I met his girlfriend today. I'm sorry, what? Kazu I has met... a girlfriend? <laughs> uh, an ex-girlfriend. He doesn't like to talk about it very much, so I feel there are some sour feelings there. Ooh. I'm not exactly sure, but um, yeah, you know the birds, how they stood for Dua and the uh, the wind goddess, I maybe encountered her in the temple. You spoke with the goddess? Uh, yes. At least I that's what I thought. why I'm surprised, considering. Uh, we need to be very cautious about that group we just um, met recently. I don't want to say they're friends. Or even acquaintances. I don't trust them anymore. No, me neither. Do you mean the weird people? Yes, the strange people. And apparently that Bob is a problem too. Yes. If an old god is afraid of them, that means they must be very dangerous. Uh, yes, and if this god, the, if a current goddess is pleading us to make sure that they don't come in and acquire those pieces, then we're in some serious shit. I thought we were just messing around here, but uh, I guess Apparently we... Apparently the stakes are higher than we... Yes, but I do want to also deal with those slavers for 
I mean, there won't be much of a puzzle pieces left to acquire or a world to do save if Karnax were to break into our realm. I agree. Still, yeah. the thing that I can't get out of my head is why? Why is he so scared of her? She was just a girl. She's not just a girl. She's spawn of darkness, or at least that's the understanding I was on. Oh. Well, that is concerning. I mean, we could probably just, like, beat her up and take the thing off her wrist, right? The crystal thingy? Sorry, do we have to re reiterate the fact that an old god is frightened of her? Yeah, but well, he's I'm on not. our side. Yeah, he's on our side, and we have a, a wind god as well. Who was also afraid of uh, She wasn't afraid, she was more like Take care of this. I don't want to get involved. Born of darkness, she may be. She didn't seem bad. Thank you for listening to Tales of Swordfall. Please consider listening to these podcasts. Hello, folks. JP Winterbottom here to tell you about The Beholder's Eye, a 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons narrative-focused actual play podcast about a group of private investigators in a fantasy noir setting with eldritch horror undertones. You can find The Beholder's Eye every other Friday on iTunes, SoundCloud, or anywhere podcasts are found. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe.